Hey Mike, how are you? Hey, I put together this uh, little video segment just as a fun way to tell you how proud I am of you and how impressed I am with how you've handled yourself over the past so many months, I don't know, nine months or so since uh, that day you decided to plant your face into the tip of your ski and almost kill yourself. You know, the reason that I say I'm proud of you is not because you decided to put your face into your ski, um, but it's actually how you've kind of handled yourself throughout this entire ordeal or this adventure or this experience. You know, I tell myself or I tell my kids as well as myself that one of the main reasons we come to Earth is to experience, experience physically in a physical dimension. You know, you've got people, places, and things here, whereas in heaven, you got nothing but verbs, action, I suppose. So you got to come to a physical dimension to have physical experiences, right? Makes sense. Anyway, as part of these adventures that we have here or these experiences, you know, some are cool, some are fun, some are exciting, like skiing um, is when you're doing it right and you're doing it well. And some are not so comfortable or not so fun. Like what happens when you put your face into the tip of your ski and your life pivots and shifts and changes direction, at least for a while. And during moments like that, you are faced with, I guess, a variety of choices on how you approach that situation or deal with that situation and what kind of an attitude you bring to a situation like that and adventure like that and ordeal like that, whatever you want to call it. So, one of the things that impressed me the most about you was even while you were laid up in the hospital for a couple of weeks in intensive care, having to lay completely still, eyes closed, um, dealing with intense pain, dealing with certain quality service, you know, uh, issues in the hospital that you were in, you always maintained a pretty positive attitude, a really uh, impressive attitude at times, especially when you would choose to minimize the amount of pain meds that you would take or certainly try to minimize that as quickly as you could so that you didn't have to worry about dependence and things like that that other people end up facing when they have a catastrophic accident like this. Uh, also just your attitude about you know life in general and the way you've kind of seemed to uh, allow yourself to move on and move through this even though it is something that you have to deal with uh, you know 24-7 in terms of the pain and and uh, everything else you got to deal with it. So uh, one day I received this, you might have remembered texting me, uh, sending me this image of you after you got a scan back in February. And uh, you know, first thing I thought to myself was, damn, that dude's jacked up. But really, it's, you know, just an image of you with all the titanium inserts that are holding your face together, eye sockets, nose bridge, things of that nature. And, uh, you know, a thought occurred to me as I was looking at this that, wow, although my brother doesn't really enjoy heavy metal music all that much, he's now truly a metalhead. A true metalhead is what I thought. And then I thought about, you know, those little kids that go to, and maybe not little kids, but whoever goes to these metal um, concerts, you know, in their black t-shirts and doing this kind of thing. I'm a metalhead, dude! That you've got the ability to walk up to them now and kind of tell them, Hey, you little freaking punks. You think you're metalheads? You got nothing on me. And that was kind of just a fun concept, thinking that you could do this. But before you do that, we want to kind of arm you with, you know, the ability to go in there and proudly proclaim your metalhead status. So started thinking about um, some other folks that have gone through adversity um, and came up with, you know, the likes of the Supermans, the Batmans, the Spidermans, and even the Six Million Dollar Man, who you may have remembered from that 70s shows back in the day where he got all jacked up from a, uh, an accident and, you know, even the opening segment of it was, we can rebuild him, we have the know-how. We have the technology, and even with healthcare costs today, I'm guessing, you know, your two-week stint in the hospital plus all your different operations, and by the end of this, it'll be about six million bucks. So, you're our six million dollar man, 
And while these guys have logos and or TV shows, you got Jack. You don't have anything. So we figured we could remedy that situation since uh, your story is inspiring, you are inspiring, and the way that you've actually tested your metal, there's that saying that people use when somebody goes through a situation where you're forged, you know, metal gets forged and different things, but I really think that you've shown us a real prime example of how you can test your metal and how you can come through that in a way that inspires others. So we want to celebrate that a little bit and uh, give you some armor or equipment so that you personally can wear it proudly, your metalhead status, your true metalhead status, as well as uh, allow others in the ski community and your family to kind of share that and celebrate that metalhead status with you. Um, so thanks for being an example to me and to all of us. And uh, let's move on and I'll show you what we've come up with. All right, so Mike, uh, we figured since you're a true metalhead, you know, if you want to wear that proudly, you need, you know, something to help you kind of be that metalhead or have something kind of iconic. So I asked uh, a friend of mine here at Universal, Brian Beauregard, he's our creative director here in the merch group. He's responsible every year for all that cool Halloween Horror Nights artwork you see on all of our material, and he's got a, a cool vibe for, you know, true metal kind of music and the artwork that goes with that. So I've asked him to pull something together and I'm going to introduce you to Brian and let him describe kind of what he came up with and uh, kind of tell you some of the inspiration for it. All right, so Brian, hey, how Mike, are you? Nice to meet you. Uh, as Tim said before, uh, truly an inspirational story. Uh, this, this I, I, you know, was definitely something uh, passionate to mine as well. So being good friends with Tim as well, I, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to share my creativity at a whole different level outside of Universal Studio uh, with my passion for art and share my art style with you as well. So Tim provided me with a couple of different reference pictures of some of uh, you and yourself and some of the surgery. And uh, it really is truly a compelling story uh, to understand what you've been through you know, over the course of the year. Um, again, true metalhead. It's a great branding opportunity. This speaks all about you, man. So, came up with some great concepts being, being in the creative genre of rock and roll, water, water sports like wakeboarding, some Burton snowboarding, and use my affluence of design to come up with some unique branding. So, this is a pass of how I've used my inspiration, my development technology of using photography, different skull features, but yet branding this for you. So, hopefully, what you see here, you really like. This is something that your fans going forward will now uh, look forward to. And hopefully this is something we can build on in the future uh, for yourself to take advantage of this and wear proudly because it's definitely well-deserved based on everything you've been through. So this is for you, man. This is for your family. And uh, I hope you get to enjoy. There's more to come. Cool. Hey, you want to tell them a little bit about the different font styles? Because you, you went with a couple of different fonts sure. here. Well, I created it from scratch, so yeah. Yeah. Like, like, no, no, this is good. This, yeah. this is casual. But yeah. like this font right here is a different font similar um, to what would you call this kind of a font right uh, here? The, the two particular uh, designs you see here, there's, there's some, a lot of similarities. But what I did was is actually created a unique font and a type of typographic treatment to resemble the different types of rock metal that's being currently used within trends and within society over the course of the year. So the one on the right here has more of a Metallica sort of feel. It's got a bit of di a bit different heavy font, takes a different different effect true to that particular music genre. And the one on the on the left hand side, based on your established 1965 date, this is a little bit more true, a little bit more classic, a little bit more hairband from the 80s slash 70s, <laughs> possibly some of the 60s, but I think more going into the 70s, solid gold effect. But it's mirroring those two particular concepts uh, and fusing the art style to create something new and fresh within the brand. So if you look at the competition out there at your local concerts, you're not seeing this. Hate to say it, this is one of a kind sort of development specifically for you. So take it for what it's worth and run with it because... This is true custom. This isn't something that you're going to go on your keyboard, on a PC or a Mac, and just start typing out, and this is what you're going to produce. This is hand designed specifically for you. Cool. So You want to uh, christen these with your uh, autograph? Because I love to design these for you, and hopefully it'll, it'll add family, you know, value for you and your family. and be a nice, uh, a nice showcase piece for your house and 
your studio, whatever you may want to do. If you get back on the, on the water again, this might be something you want to share with you, your friends and your family and, and some of your peers that are out there. There so you go, Lucille. It sounds like you might be getting back on the water. I know you don't want to hear it, but... Very cool, man. All right, so thanks a lot, Brian. So enjoy, and hope everything goes well with all your future endeavors and your recuperating um, with everything that Tim's told me. So best of luck yep. to you in the future. All right, dude. When life uh, hands you lemons, you got to make lemonade or some really cool artwork, as Brian's done for you here. All right. So, Mike, you got your artwork, you got a logo. What do we figure you need next? Maybe a true soundtrack for your life? Uh, a true metalhead would have a metal song that uh, helped him understand. You know, I don't know, you can listen to it through your whole damn life, who knows? Anyway, I asked my buddy Dan Rodriguez, who's an excellent guitar player, to help me out with this because I have no credibility to be a metalhead, as you can see how I'm dressed. I have no shredibility as a metalhead, but Dan has both. So I'm going to let you uh, meet Dan here in a second, and he's written a song for you called True Metalhead that can now become the soundtrack to your life. Hey Dan, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks for uh, doing this for me. For those guys who haven't met Dan, he's been trying to teach me guitar for four years and I still suck and it's not his fault, it's my fault. <laughs> but he doesn't and so I asked him, I said, hey, I told him the story about what happened to you, Mike, and said, alright, what, uh, what could we do for him? And this is actually the place that we kind of come in and, and try to learn, it's a bit of a shrine, so... Uh, <laughs> You get to hear what Dan's done for you. So Dan, as we were talking, um, you know, I told you he's a water skier and what had happened. So what what was inspiring? Like, how'd you come up with this song for him? What kind of things? Um, well, luckily for you guys, I got a new guitar, which one more string than even the biggest of metalheads have. This eight one strings. goes to eight. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not tuned six lower. Well, this one goes to eight. Exactly. So I just got a new guitar and I needed to write a really heavy riff. Uh, I had your brother Tim tell me the story about what happened to you, and I actually used to water ski and kneeboard when I was a kid, so I knew a little bit about it. And uh, he told me the story. I started thinking about uh, highlight reels of like X Games, where you know the biker wipes out, or the skateboarder wipes out, or water skiers wipe out, or whatever. And uh, I think five seconds after he told me the story, I picked up the guitar and wrote a riff. Cool. And now I'm you try to do what I did when your brother was here and that happened, which is play this on just one take. So I'll play you the riff, and then I've made a little backing track for it. Alright Mike, so here goes, True Metalhead. Here goes nothing.
a logo, you got a theme song, what's next? Story done? Who knows? <laughs> so Mike, uh, we figured you've got uh, your artwork, um, you've got a song, we probably should take this to the next level, you've got your apparel line, we, we should go ahead and design some, uh, you know, skis for you. So. We can uh, really blow this thing up. So I've enlisted your friend um, and ski expert, author, entrepreneur, Ben Favre, and he's agreed to help out with uh, helping launch your, your ski company. So let's go into the offices of Metalhead Incorporated. Say hello. Hey, Ben. Hey, how are you, Sam? <laughs> I'm doing well. All hey, right. So uh, Mike, I uh, just kind of told him we're going to... Um, do something with this metalhead brand that you're so proudly wearing right now, and we're going to figure out a way to try to take this thing to the next level for Mike, maybe get a ski design for him. So you got some ideas. What would we do if we wanted to design a ski for Mike? Well, first, thank you, Tim. It is a real honor to be part of Team Metalhead and be the designer of the first Team Metalhead water ski. So, so Mike, what we've done is design you a special ski that has special features that no other ski in the world has right now. Let me show you guys right over here. So what we did is we have a ski here that is specifically designed out of metal. No other skis today are made of metal. Your ski is going to be made out of metal, not just any metal, titanium, just like you have in your head. <laughs> the ski is going to be a metal head just like you're a metal head. We've worked in your own graphics all the way through. But the real challenge for you, Mike, isn't the ski. You've always been a great skier for years and years and years. The trouble has always been, how do we keep you on the ski? And we've looked long and hard. You've, you've tried binding systems and stuff. We thought and thought and we said, you know what? There's a million uses of duct tape. We're, let's make it a million one. We're going to take your ski, we're going to strap it on there, and we're going to take enough duct tape once your foot gets in there, and we're going to just wrap it on there never going to come off. You're going to be the safest skier on the water anytime, anywhere. I don't care. <laughs> I'm never going to have my friend Mike Flynn in the water with his face all screwed up again. It may not ski well, but we don't care here at Metalhead Skis. We care about safety. There you go, Lucille. I think we've solved the problem. It's okay for Mike to be on the water again. And I was thinking, if we use duct tape, you know, somebody might say, well, the aerodynamics and or the aqua dynamics aren't going to work. But whenever I think of ducks, I think of water. So why can't duct tape be on the water? Well, even the duct the tape, you know, if you look, these grooves right here, the water goes through. It's going to help the ski edge better <laughs> as it carves the turn. So this isn't just random duct tape. This is special, as you know, metallic duct tape to go along with a metal head ski. Beautiful, beautiful. Mike, you make me proud, man. All Can't right. Ski with you some more. Off we go. Thanks, Ben. All right, Mike, so there you have it. You are a true metalhead. It's official. You've got the logo, you've got the brand, just like Superman, just like Spider Man. Batman, those guys that went through adversity and ended up with this powerful symbol they can wear in your chest. You've now got the same thing. So, here's what you do with this. Whatever you want to do with this. It's your logo, it's your brand. Have fun with it. We only printed these in limited quantities, so the only people that get them are people that deserve to have them. People that will rock the brand, that will celebrate the red badge of courage, if you will. Or perhaps, better said, a black and silver badge of courage. So make sure whoever gets these deserves it. They're not going to be hanging in a closet 365 days a year. Limited quantities on purpose because these are special limited editions to rock and celebrate the true metalhead in the family, our own $6 million man. And at least by the time you're done with the rest of the surgeries, you'll definitely be up to $6 million bucks. But anyway, thanks again for uh, the example you've shown us all on how to go through adversity. Sorry about that. Had to stop and edit that part because I was getting a little verklempt, a little emotional. Uh, the example you've shown us is pretty powerful. So uh, thank you again. Oh, by the way, most of this was done in one take. You can tell that I'm not very 
adept at videography or editing, but it's the thought that counts, not the quality of the video. By the way, shirts and hats have great quality, so thanks to my buds in Orlando for pulling this stuff together, and uh, enjoy your metalhead status. Take care.